So here's how to buy domain and hosting from Hostinger. It's very easy to do it. I'm gonna walk you through the steps. The first step, which is the most important one, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. And if you click that, you'll get taken to a page that looks very similar to this. Now, there's gonna be a slight difference. And the reason why I'd recommend you doing that, because if you go through my referral link, you'll get a 20% discount extra. My way of saying thank you for watching this video. So that's gonna be the first step. When you do that, simply click on the claim deal button right here, and it's gonna take you down to the pricing plans. So the next step is going to be picking your perfect plan. What I'm gonna do is very quickly explain the differences, say between these two and the third one, just so you know exactly which one is gonna be right for you. First and foremost, there's gonna be premium. It says everything you need to create your website. In easiest form, if you are brand new to creating a website, you've never created a website before, this is gonna be your first website, or maybe you just need one or two and you don't need a whole lot of traffic, premium is gonna be perfectly fine for you. As you can see right here, you get up to 25 websites, you get 25 gigabytes of storage, you also get weekly backups, and there's gonna be a few other things. As an example, if I scroll down here, a bigger one that's gonna be different is the fact that you get around 25,000 monthly visits compared to the next plan is gonna be 100,000. But nevertheless, if you don't need any more than 25,000 visits per month, and you're pretty much gonna just get started with your first website, premium's gonna be fine. If we move on over to the business right here, this is gonna be the most popular, and it's gonna be if you want a little bit more websites, more traffic, and just overall enhanced features. As you can see, going from premium to business here, it's only gonna be $1 extra per month, so it's not too much. Aside from getting more websites, more gigabytes, more mailboxes, you're also getting daily updates. And this can be a very big deal if you're like me and you feel like you might break everything. I've certainly done this before in WordPress where I deleted too many things or maybe I deleted the wrong line or code or plugin, whatever it was, and I had to go back and do a daily backup. This is beneficial because if you don't have daily and you mess up something, you could lose a lot of content when you just have to do a weekly backup and maybe you have to go back six or seven days. So that's something to keep in mind if you feel like you're going to be breaking your website or you might have the opportunity of doing so. That's something to consider. So, so if you feel like you need more websites or you just want the ability to have more websites, more mailboxes, more traffic and daily backups, business will probably be good for you, especially for the fact it's not too much more. And last but not least is going to be cloud startup, as it says here, enjoy optimized performance and powerful resources. So if you're looking for the max and pretty much everything they happen to offer, where you're going up to 100 websites, 100 gigs and more, you're going to want to go with cloud startup. Most likely, you're probably going to be with one of these. So pick the one that's going to be best for you. In this example, I'm going to click on the business right here and do choose plan. All right, so next what you're gonna be doing is choosing the period. So you can do anything from 48 months to as low as one month. I do not recommend one month because you're gonna pretty much lose all discounts and it costs the most. Anytime you cycle through 48, 24, or 12 months, it's gonna come out to an average of $3.19 per month. But if you go with 48, it's gonna be the best for multiple reasons. First and foremost is that not only do you get your free domain, but you also get three months free, which you're not gonna get anywhere else. Plus, when it renews, it's only gonna be $8.99 per month, and keep in mind that's gonna be after the four years. However, say if you go to 24 right here, you're gonna notice that this is gonna be the same, but this renews at about $10 per month, and you lose those three free months. Same thing when you go to 12 months right here, this is gonna renew at $14 a month, which is why I don't recommend it. It's gonna be much more when it renews. And once again, you don't get those three free months, even though it is gonna be pretty expensive in the beginning. So I'd recommend anywhere from 24 to 48, 48 is going to be the best bang for your buck. Not only are you getting a huge $480 discount, but you're also getting the 20% discount. That's by going through my link. My way of saying thank you for watching this video once again. So once you do this, find the pay period that you want to utilize and simply click on continue. All right, so then you're gonna arrive on this page where you're gonna to wanna to register. Simply use your email and add a password here. You can obviously go in with Gmail if you wanna do it that way. Keep in mind that you wanna use a actual primary or a very good email here because they're gonna send you all the details. I already have an account, so I'm just gonna use another email address here to show you what it's gonna look like on the next page. Allow me to do that, you do that yourself and click on register and I'll see you on the next page. All right, and so we have made it to the last step. Very easy to do here. Just enter your billing address information. When you click on continue, this is gonna be where you can enter your payment. 
Up at top, we have the order summary. So this is gonna be with business web hosting. If you went with the 48 months plan with business, you do get that daily backup. And if you go with the 48 months plan, remember you get that three extra months. So this is gonna be the important part here because this is about how you get a domain and hosting with Hostinger. I know we haven't seen any section where you can enter in your domain, but if you hover over this, it says discount is already applied. You will be able to set up your domain in your control panel. After your first year, your domain will renew at the regular rate. So that's why we haven't seen anywhere where you can enter it in to say like this is going to be the domain that you want you're going to be doing that once you sign up and go into your actual setup and control panel so that's where you're going to do that i just wanted to let you know in case you were curious about that we have our subtotal here a huge discount once again and of course my discount by using my link and that's going to be the estimated total when it comes to using these specific settings remember you can always do less or more it's going to be up to you but make sure you pick the plan that's going to be best for you and what you need to create and of course your goals so Anyway, that's going to conclude this tutorial about how to buy a domain and hosting from Hostinger. I hope it helped you out when it comes to picking the best plan for you and, of course, getting a discount. Don't forget to click that link in the description because I want to make sure that you do get that extra 20% off. My way of saying thank you for checking out this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. But until then, my name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you enjoy Hostinger as much as I do.